Man, news moves so fast these days, I don't even get a chance to fix my hair. Anyway. Um, although I would gladly blow myself over if I could take that and shit bag with us. True Jordy, he should have, uh, he really shouldn't have doubled down on that clip. Now, True Jordy, aka Brian, will his angst against Andrew Tate, well, it's gone and cost him a lucrative sponsorship deal with Gymshark, and it's all over some remarks aimed at the one and only Andrew Tate. The Matrix is strong. And, uh, well, if you didn't know, Andrew, he's now a Muslim man of faith, so, uh, I guess it's time we all lay off. I've never been too harsh on Andrew Tate, right? But Drew Jordy, yikes, he has. So in the biggest 360 I've seen in a while, well, Andrew Tate's looking like the good guy. And Drew Jordy, well, he's down a bag. To find out everything that went down with this new YouTube drama, well, you're gonna have to stay tuned to this episode of Famous News. This is my... Oh, no! You still didn't like me. You shot me. Just send the location. Number one! My calling is to be the leader of the free world. True Jordy and Andrew Tate, they've been beefing for years. In fact, uh, True Jordy and his best friend, his co-host, well, they are some of the earliest YouTubers to go after Andrew Tate for, you know, his uh, misogynistic views on women, lifestyle, being an alpha male and saying things he probably shouldn't. You can go back on YouTube and take a look, but they were calling him out as long back as three years ago. Anyway, with Andrew Tate banned from existence online, well, you would think this has all become water under the bridge. But Brian, aka True Jordy, he can't seem to let it go. Are you fighting Andrew Tate? Mate, and oh, come on. Andrew Tate's got God on his side oh, now. There's man. no way Brian would win that. Um, although I would gladly blow myself over if I could take that and shit bag with us. I'm just saying, if he really wants to prove it, do, do the right thing. Now this clip, it went viral for one of his most recent podcasts, and people were saying, hey, you, uh, you crossed the line, bud. Now it didn't take long for this to actually make its way to Andrew Tate, who called him out stating, after me converting to Islam, he made a piece on one of his podcasts saying I'm not true in my conversion and then insulted all Muslims, making fucking racist comments about an entire religion as if that's somehow funny. Let me tell you something, my friend, and True Jordy, if you are watching this, this is a message directly to you. There are certain times in life when you need to know when to shut the fuck up. To insult my religion and the religion of billions of people across the fucking planet, making ignorant jokes about blowing ourselves up, thinking it's gonna go without consequences. You're gonna learn very quickly, my friend, that was a mistake. And Andrew Tate ain't messing around. I mean, if you open up some geography books and look at how many people in the world are Muslim, I feel like they got the numbers. Now, True Jordy, he was quick to apologize, uh, where he was actually brought to tears. That's right, a big old macho man like him actually broke down crying. I've done a lot of things in my YouTube career. Video. Oh, who do you agree with in this? Love to hear your comments, you know where.